Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekend messages readings and it will be from Saturday the 18th to Sunday the 19th of December 2021. Remember these readings are mini tarot readings where we look at the potential energies around you um, for the next few days as the readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. And they won't resonate with everybody. So as always, just take what resonates with you. I have done a separate energy reading on the full moon in Gemini. So do check that out if you haven't already, because it will give you maybe some insight, certainly into the energies that I was picking up as a reader for the next few days. So without further ado, let's get straight into these readings. And as always, I wish you a wonderful weekend. Scorpio, let's see what we have for you. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. For those of you who are interested, I am using the Druid Tarot deck. So let's see what we have for you, our lovely Scorpios. Okay, so we begin with the Prince of Cups, water energy, which is your energy. We have the Seven of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. It feels, Scorpio, like some kind of apology. So cards on the table, we have Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, male or female energy. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, again, male or female energy. But the energy of the Queen of Pentacles is something that can be nurtured and healed, maybe. So for some of you, Scorpio, we have the Five of Swords. Now, this can be a card of conflict, uh, some argument, some conflict being... And it sometimes is someone's actions or somebody acting in a way that completely disregards the other person. We have the Prince of Cups. Again, some kind of apology. Um, trying to make something right. Somebody maybe making the first move here in offering some kind of white flag to remedy the situation and bring change. The Seven of Cups. So a choice needs to be made in response to this offer. Someone isn't quite clear yet, but their intuition is telling them something. The Seven of Cups is that energy of a little bit of confusion because emotions are involved. So whatever this is, whatever happened here, Scorpio, this might be, I just need to see where my intuition is leading me with regard to this offer. And again, for some of you, it's to do with healing. Again, the Queen of Pentacles is a very healing and nurturing um, healthy energy. So I feel in this energy for some of you, something might be coming in or someone might be coming in to heal an argument, to make peace. Uh, you might, you know, this can be the white flag being waved. Can we make peace? Can we move past this? And maybe a decision needs to be made here. Because again, the Seven of Cups can be a card of choices. But again, this energy, your intuition generally leads you in what choice to make with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, if it's, I mean, with the pentacle energy being here, which can also lend itself to career and money, because there can be a material aspect to the Queen of Pentacles very strongly. And she can be an energy or a symbol of somebody offering you opportunity, somebody holding some kind of opportunity here that might be offered to you. It can also be this energy of um, abundant energy somebody who provides for who provides for themselves their family 
who has the financial um, ability to provide the provider, you know, um, somebody who's very abundant through hard work and patience and working within the boundaries that they are, are, are that the environment dictates. So you might be feeling that a little bit, Scorpio. And again, this seven of cups is confusion because you don't know what decision or if something that you really want, very much connected to your hopes and dreams, is going to come off. So it could be to do with something to do with money, career, finances here. The Five of Swords is a card of somebody who is realising their ambition. It is a card of winning. It's a card of victory. It's not an easy victory, but it does show winners and losers. So again, from that point of view, this is a card of victory. It's a card of winning. It's not an easy one, but this is you coming through as a winner. Because again, water energy, your element, you are being offered something here. Offered something that you really want. Again, the Seven of Cups is hopes, dreams and wishes. I hope this comes off, but I don't know if I'm going to get the offer here. This can be the Knights deliver offers. They deliver the opportunity. They bring the change. So again, in money areas, that is what I'm seeing. So again, take what resonates for you. So final message for Scorpio, please. It feels a hopeful reading. Final message for Scorpio, please. I need to shuffle these cards again. And again, they're sticking together a little bit at the moment. I don't know why. Sometimes they just need shuffling until they free up. Okay, final message for Scorpio. That's better. Final message for Scorpio, please. Oh, there we go. Sight, owl, detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. So maybe you're going to get some clear sight of what's going to happen here. Either sight to make a decision or getting clear sight on something coming your way that you were hoping for. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.